Hey everybody and welcome to my show FATV Fan Art, um, soon to be probably just F-A-N-T-V, all things that I'm a fan of, mainly art, but many other things too, including gaming, movies, etc. Um, what we're doing here today, I, saw, I thought we'd paint a little galaxy. Now, um, part of a galaxy, more like a uh, nebula. And we're going to do, eventually on this larger canvas, a pirate, or uh, pirates in space, okay, pirates in space port, hidden in the nebula, kind of a science fiction-y, pop culture-y piece that I've been thinking of. But today I just thought we would paint um, some nebula-like clouds, some fun clouds, and uh, keep it just this thing, this port's going to be floating in the clouds with the ships and so on, but to give it that kind of a spacey feel to it, or a nebula. Remember, remember Star Wars or the Empire Strikes Back, the uh, city in the clouds? You know how it just floated there in the clouds? Anyway, that's kind of what we're doing here. Two-inch brush, um, and I got some titanium, titanium white, raw umber, Indian yellow. I got this tan. Uh, titanium uh, beige type uh, color Naples yellow light Naples yellow regular lamp black crimson uh, French ultramarine and just some Prussian blue those are the colors we're working with and I treated this canvas already with um, some white acrylic paint and now I've gone over two layers so far sanded it I, so two layers of white acrylic paint sanded it and then now a layer of liquid white so I hope you enjoy this uh, channel Please subscribe, please like, please comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see something in particular, just post in the comments. I'll paint. I'll try to paint it for you, okay? <laughs> Maybe your name will be mentioned. So anyhow, uh, to get started, usually uh, the best thing to do here is try a base color, uh, laying it down. Uh, you can either start from the top, going down. Um, it's whatever you want to do, okay? Um, I'm just going to start on the right side of the canvas here, kind of work my way down. Um, I thought maybe I'd get a little Prussian blue and... <laughs> some white. Uh, put quite a bit on your brush here um, and you may have to uh, conserve some space um, on the on the palette here uh, for some other colors. But anyways, we're just going to mix some color onto the brush, tap it in real good and get plenty of white on there. Plenty of color on the brush uh, with that blue color. I'm going to add then a little bit of the crimson in the French ultramarine blue. Kind of create like a lavender dark purplish color um, and work it down darker as we go around the bottom. Bottom's going to be a lot darker, top's going to be a little bit lighter. We're going to try to work in this uh, color here before we lay in some dark darkness around the edge. I think maybe just around the edges maybe we'll just do some darkness. Using just little cross, stro cross strokes, just laying in some color here. Um, nothing too fancy at this point. Just laying in the basis of clouds. It could nebulas have clouds in it, I guess. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a physicist or astronomer or anything, but I'm going with my my uh, reading on the topic here. And the reason why um, you treat the canvas ahead of time is it'll flow way better on here once you start doing your painting, okay? And as we said, it's going to be darker here on the bottom. I'm just working in some of this color. I'm not too overly concerned with shapes or anything like that. I just put it in base color. I know where some of these clouds are going to lie. And 
where the port the port's going to kind of come around like a, a, a large oval with the ships in it okay so we're just creating this backdrop for the port the like i said pirate ships in space port okay you have to watch a later youtube you have to see the next youtube show that i do vlog that i do to see what it looks like okay i think here on the bottom i'm going to add a lot more prussian blue and a tiny bit of lamp black just to darken it and gray it down just a tad So I think on the bottom we're going to create a uh, darker base here for sure. And I just want to gray it down just a tad. All right. Okay. I think also as we uh, Start to soften some of this, work in some more of the color. I'm just going to go straight into the lamp black. Straight in. I just work the corners here like I want to create this depth in there. And like I said, we are floating in a nebula, hiding Pirate's Hide, Pirate, Pirate Cove, Pirate Spaceport or shipping port. I bet they're gonna look like pirate ships either way. All right. Now, if I didn't treat this canvas before I did this, you wouldn't get this flow that I'm getting right now. And you have to have that liquid white layer over the acrylic base. And the acrylic base on the bottom, if you're gonna do, this is gonna have some details in it. I want, I want to fill the crevices of this fiber on the canvas with as much paint underline all this as possible. I'm going to have to draw on, I'm going to be doing a drawing or sketch over this of the, of the basic port and the things in the port and the ships. Okay. I really want to darken these corners up quite a bit. All right. We're just floating out here in the clouds. All right, gotta gotta clean the brush down here. Got some uh, odorless mineral spirits down here. It's just like Bob Ross would use. And when you're in inside studio, you should open a window, get some ventilation going, beat the devil out of it. That's what Bob Ross needs to beat the devil out of it. Okay, so clean brush now. We can start working some of these other uh, colors. Um, I'm going to have to be careful not to pull in. I don't want to pull in that blue, but I do want a little bit of this light Naples yellow, just a tad, to get some color in here. We're just going to work some color, okay? And some of the white, all right? I'm just going to be working in some colors real bright here, okay? Just white and then Naples yellow. Like I said, this is just a base color that we're throwing in here. I'm not overly concerned yet with any shapes, although like Bob Ross would sometimes say, and I love quoting the guy, sometimes you get some happy accidents and that's okay. Just don't have any happy accidents in your pants while you're painting. Did I just freaking say that? <laughs> if something goes wrong, just don't sweat it. Don't don't crack pants. Just let it go. <laughs> oh my god, if my wife watches this episode. I guess you want to call it an episode. We'll just call it a, the video, vlog, whatever the case may be. Sometimes you have to pull off little pieces of uh, brush hair. That's fine. Um, I don't want to touch in here yet and blend, but we'll get there. On this next layer here, I think we're going to now just go into 
this darker Naples, this regular Naples yellow, which is just regular. It's not necessarily darker, but it definitely is a different tone and quite a bit darker than the one that's there. So anyhow, I'm gonna work that in here quite a bit. I wanna really mash it in and uh, make some sort of uh, indications of other clouds that are the ones that may be in the foreground, mid-ground, and this is mid-ground, mid-sky, or mid-space, in this case. Didn't mean to rhyme, well, that rhymes, but I didn't mean to. It sounded weird. It's like, did I just rhyme something in it unintentionally? <sighs> yeah, I'm not even gonna go there with a stupid cliche. He's a poet and he didn't even know it. No, 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 don't. Just, just wrap yourself up in your little world. Everything, everything gonna be okay. Everything gonna be all right. Gonna kind of pull in a little bit of a, little bit of that color up here before I blend. That's fine. Um, I like these colors working together here. And then they'll start to come through. And then we'll start to do some clouds, okay? Down here, we're gonna go even darker with the uh, tan. I was telling you about earlier, it's like a con kind of a darker tan. It brings in some uh, shadows and some darkness that we need down here. Okay, that one right here. See ya. All right, bring in some of those over here. And just kind of work it in to build basic cloud shapes until we get to the blending part. And then as we get down here, I'm gonna use some of this uh, romber. And that's even darker, okay? And that's how the bottom's gonna kind of manifest itself here in the painting. And then we'll get some, into some more black as we need it. Um, but raw umber, I, 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 it's, it's a brownish gold in my mind, or bronzish gold, and it's, and it's beautiful. Um, I just had a uh, seascape I did a long time ago that I put up on uh, DeviantArt. I don't know how many of you who like art shows or watch YouTube for art um, ever go to DeviantArt, but this one will show up on DeviantArt. I've been putting up, I've been posting quite a bit of uh, Deviant artwork of mine, traditional art, and all of its oil paintings and acrylics. And uh, so if you have a chance, go on there, just look up my name. I think it shows up under F-A-C-H-E-K-K-I, -K -K which is my artist name, sort of like my pen name. Um, but my name's Frank, but you won't, you won't find my name under Frank. And so this is gonna kinda go through here. Now, here at the bottom, I'm gonna have to bring in this lamp black. I'm gonna kinda mix some of the lamp black with the burnt umber and just kinda work in some of that right in there. Like I said, just kinda working it in to layer the clouds. Cause we're just up in the clouds, you know? My head's up in the cl my head is up in the clouds too much. It drives my nut. <laughs> Whoop! I meant drive my wife nuts. Drive my wife nuts. But anyway, I want to kind of just layer this in here. Maybe go back into this tan. And uh, we'll bring in more of that tan right here. I want it to bring it over. And you'll see it, how it blends in with the cloud. I want to keep a little bit of that purple haze in between. Maybe go back in the lamp black and the uh, raw umber here. Just bring in a little bit of that more right here. Now, here you'll see some mists 
building uh, in between some layers. Keep a little bit of light in between layers of clouds. Layers are important, okay? Um, let's just say right here, as we go into some, maybe some layers of some grayish clouds back here, we just kind of use the edge of the brush and we build sort of like this other layer. It's gonna probably be mostly covered there anyways, but I'm just kind of bringing in some of this other purplish, lavenderish with the gray and just uh, building that up. Get some of that French ultramarine on there. Make it as uh, purple as I can, but darker. I'm going for a little tone. Like I said, you're not gonna see much of this right here. Um, the, the port's gonna block quite a bit of it. Um, but it's just perspective as we put this in here. I might have to bring in a little white to kind of lighten that up a little, just a tad. Just bring a little bit of that over here. And keep a little space right there. As so, right in here. Go back in this color. I'm gonna wipe off the, clean the brush off a bit. Because I'm bringing in way too much of the lamp black. Too much of the lamp black. If you bring in too much black, it'll just gray it. But I'm trying to get a, d a different tone. Always make sure you get enough of that uh, mineral spirits out of your brush. Or else you're going to run into some problems. Um, you're going to start peeling off your paint, so to speak, with too much thinner. And that's not what we want. All right, here we go. It's just more purplish. It's gonna just mix in with the gray. And uh, like I said, we're in space, so not too concerned with the realism of the colors. This is science fiction, pop art, science fiction, so to speak. And when I say pop art, I guess, um, pirates are not something I invented during the pop culture. And uh, there's something that I think we all connect to through the pop culture and I don't know I talk a lot about pop culture and art and you know it was a huge thing in the time of Andy Warhol he really was the pioneer of that painting soup cans he, he wasn't too concerned with doing epic sci-fi scenes <laughs> that wasn't his cup of tea he wanted to go for more pedestrian things that um, are ordinary in life and so on and so forth. Um, keeping some of this purple here on the brush, just working in some of that mist in here. Go into some white, perhaps right here. I like that mist right there. If you like something, just don't bother it too much. Just kind of go over it lightly with the brush. I kind of like that right there. But I do feel like I need to get in some more of that crimson and French ultramarine. Um, right in here. And you kind of just build their case for your clouds. It's an illusion. That's all it is. It's just painting is a glorious illusion. An illusion. That we all kind of can try to connect with if we can. Now up here... I said I'd like to kind of blend through a little bit here, and that's fine. Just be very careful because it's all purplish. How much color you're going to pull through to the other side? Because I don't want to overpower that other color I have going there, but I do want to blend it some. It may require a blending, another blending brush, or just cleaning off your brush some. I do think. I do think though over here, some of this uh, color needs to come through just a tad so that it's radiating that way. Um, I haven't decided where the sun is yet. But behind this uh, nebula, there's gonna be some light coming through from the sun, uh, the star in this case. All right, maybe bring a little bit of that right here. 
just put in a little bit on your brush and just fill in that little gap right there just so it sort of flows in and again work some of these colors so that they blend through okay now at this point like I said there's gonna be a port here so I'm not overly concerned with every placement of the clouds. Maybe a little shine, a little purple right there. That's all right. But I am concerned about laying out the landscape. Um, and I am concerned about shadows and I am concerned about how this bottom here, I think it needs to be considerably darker than the top to build this we're, we're just in the clouds um and then you're gonna say well how do you know we're in space how do we know we're in space versus um some type of planet well that's a good question frank <laughs> fa teach us well we're gonna have to use some devices in the subject matter of the yard like putting in some illusion of some planets or asteroids or something type of background that i'm not going to do just yet um, but there'll be lighter color objects throughout the atmosphere here of this nebula that is going to give it that look. Okay, so that's pretty much lining out your uh, colors as such, and then we'll start developing the clouds. Okay. So washing off the brush and uh, like I said, the odorless mineral spirits, two-inch brush, beat out all the gunk. We're just gonna start blending here, okay? We're gonna soften all the colors. All I did um, in that little segment uh, where we transitioned was add in a little bit more burn umber, the clouds down there, um, a little bit more of the uh, Naples yellow. So I just kind of laid in some shadow, um, developed the layers a little bit, just cause for the sake of time, and we're probably gonna have to shorten through editing devices and such, cause there's some stuff that just can be left out. So what we're doing is just using the the clean uh, two inch brush. Just sometimes got to shake it out a little bit more. Sometimes you'll notice your um, brush feels a little wet, and that's okay um, because when there's, I guess I just call it the residues of the oils that do stay on the brush, and it actually has to be shaked and stirred and whatever and the winter mineral spirits to get it all out and then you still get you know you beat the brush and lo and behold he didn't beat it enough oh God. just let's just <laughs> just just clean your brushes diligently using um <laughs> um using the mineral spirits and uh using like a painter's cloth to just dry things off okay so it's always good to have a sense of humor <laughs> all right so since i've been working on this side here through a lot of the dark i just was shaking off some paint from the when i do this i'm not cleaning it per se i'm just i'm beating off some of the paint i'm, I'm knocking off some paint because I, i'm really i'm trying to keep some of these layers um individualistic in each layer as we go up and as such I don't want to um, lose some of these color tones that I have throughout here so just knock off a little paint through another whacking the, the brush on the on the thing just the brush okay God help me YouTube doesn't catch up on that. Um, so, just working these layers again. Um, since I'm in that dark, I don't want to go up to that light until I do a cleaning. Okay? Like I said, a cleaning versus just knocking off some of the excess paint. Because there's a lot of paint, more paint on here than you realize. Um, you just may not realize until you actually look at the brush and then touch something white or light. Well, I don't want this color there. I'm keeping this contrast 
and this and these values. I'm keeping my color values. You know, just have good color values. Just be yourself. You know, a lot of people on social media and YouTube, or whatever. I think they kind of just put on a persona that may not necessarily be themselves. Um, also, want to mention what I was doing with the clouds earlier. I was also using a one-inch round brush. That was also a nice way to blend too. You can use it a little bit, but I, I used that um, with the raw umber here, just to kind of get in a different brush, brush stroke in there. Because different brushes do yield different brush strokes, and they do different, slightly different things. Although in the end, you know, they're all the same type of horse hair or whatever. Um, yeah, I know some people's like that's. I'm pretty sure horses aren't harmed, but the Bob Ross brushes, he loved animals, okay? <laughs> Boy, I, bought, I bought that to support his brand, the Bob Ross brushes. These are his brushes, yo. <sighs> yep. Be like, F A, you are such a Bob Ross fanatic. Yeah, well, I love Bob Ross because of all the great things he taught me. And how he inspired me as a child, inspired me as a young adolescent, a teenager, and so on, to want to do art. Because I thought it was so it looked so fun. I'm just softening these colors. So here is just a blending at this point. Um, just kind of working through various layers, just, just blending and softening, okay? Um, nothing too complicated at this point, okay? All right, so I'm going to clean off this brush for later and move on to the clouds. Now, you can do the clouds in various ways. Some people are going to argue that a filbert brush like this, larger filbert's really good. Um, moving down smaller ones with a rounded, round edge filbert brush. Fan brushes you can use, certainly. Or just two inch. You can also just use, use the one inch brush. Okay, You can use the two inch too to lay in highlights. Uh, for right now, I'm going to use this larger filbert um, and uh, this is a, more of a flat tip, flat head instead of a rounded one. And just kind of work in some of the highlights of the clouds using some of the white here and other colors. Now, down here, um, well, I want to pull in a little bit of, uh, I think, the Naples yellow on there and just kind of just work it into the clouds slightly. Not too, not too. Too much, but just using little round strokes with some white and some Naples yellow um, right here. Just working the top there because again, the port's probably going to cover up some of that. And so I'm just building in little shapes, not covering the whole cloud, but just to give you an example down here, um, pulling in some of the highlight colors into the cloud to give it some highlights. Okay, you can even tap here if you feel like you need to give it all. Okay just to build in a little bit of the highlights, all right? Now, as we go over this way, I'm just gonna tap in a little bit of the same color here, and just tap it in. I, I have different shaped clouds that I feel I need to be more of a tap. Whereas here, um, on that brush there, um, this brush here may not necessarily give me the, the effect I want right in those clouds, okay? But I, I think I can get them with this cloud here. Bring a little bit more of that color and just drop it in, okay? Make the cloud have some fluffiness, all right? Now here, I'm just gonna go into some lavender, that lavender color with the French Ultra Marine, put some white on it. I don't want to worry about this middle portion. I think quite a bit of this cloud here is going to be covered, but just to give you an idea, I'm doing the same 
process there, just kind of tapping to make little round circular motions. And you can do a little bit more on the bottom like that. Okay. And you can go straight into the white if you feel you need a little bit more white and really bring out an edge of that cloud like that, okay? As you can see, I'm just giving the cloud some shape, form, and highlights, okay? But just these little motions leaving in parts of the dark, okay? Because I don't want to get rid of all the dark on there. You need some of that. I think here would be a better place to highlight on these clouds here using some of the Naples yellow, um, bringing in a little bit of white just to kind of go over these side clouds. These side clouds here are going to be more visible to the piece and I'm probably covering up uh, right here. So these I feel like they're going to bring in and you probably use some tapping motions in the filbert too and then you can blend it later. These are going to be more pronounced into the painting and have more visibility therefore we can focus on them just a little bit more. Okay. Um, and there you go. You know, and it's funny, don't stress yourself out too much on the clouds. Um, I do. I, I, I'm going to admit, a lot of people say, okay, well, you know, the joy of painting, blah, 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 and um, all's going to be good. We make happy accidents. Bob, Bob, I love you, man. I love you. But I, I, I'm a perfectionist in a lot of ways, and I can't do that. Okay. I'm going to stress a little bit, but you know what? Try to at least sometimes just get into the painting yourself and feel the work come to life. Just like that. Okay? And just dive into the work a little bit and feel the just the the magic. Just let it feel the magic a little bit, okay? Uh, which Easier said than done, all right? So just shape those clouds there a little bit. Now one of the things you could do here also in some of these background clouds here and when you have like these um, radiating uh, light is take some of the light color and break into there a little bit. Break a little bit into there. Where's the sun coming from? I'm not thinking I'm thinking like that way, but I'm not thinking that it's down here, but it's radiating light there, okay? I'm just feeling where the light's coming from, and I'm placing in some color, okay? And that's all I'm doing. And then just blending it through, blending it through, and maybe putting in some indication of some movement here. Because it's not really wind, we don't want to make it too wind swept, but it is a nebula nebula cloud of sorts and I'm going to put a little bit more of that Naples yellow in here and just let it now let it just kind of work its way in here and do its thing okay let it kind of work its way over here and just kind of dissipating into the sky of which is not really the sky which is part of the space <laughs> part of the nebula <laughs> Jeez, we're dealing in outer space here, folks. Um, I'm going to use the darker Naples over here, not the lighter one, just because we're going out to the periphery. But I kind of want to bring that in there just to jazz it up a bit and bring in that color. But this is a good lesson in this. I'm going to be done here in a minute because I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. I'll just post the end product here, um, picture of it at the end. But... Um, this is a good lesson, I also think, for um, just clouds in general, even though we're doing things here slightly different and uh, working in some mysteries of this painting uh, with the nebula and the wherever these ships are and the galaxy, a fake place, fantasy place. But when you're doing clouds, think floating, okay? All these things are floating. And 
I like to pretend I'm almost in there. Uh, what would I see in an airplane? You've been in one maybe before and didn't even think about it. Um, so, anyway, um, down here I'm going to come back just to do a little bit more white and Naples yellow. I noticed as I was jibber jabbering that I didn't really highlight enough on that cloud there. And just highlight a little bit more in there. And then we'll go over it with the two inch again just to kind of highlight what we've done or uh, smooth over the highlights that we've done and blend. All right, I think that's enough right there. Um, although I do want to get that little bit more right there. All right. Um, now, if you want to use your one inch brush too, you can kind of go back through and fix some stuff. Like I feel like I need to bring a little bit more of the, that what's underneath. I don't want it to completely um, get rid of all the darker color there. So I just kind of go underneath it pulling some of the dark. Let's see if I can just bring some through. Just break it up a little bit with another brush. There's no, there's nothing on that, but now there is. Um, so I'm just using the brush to work through that area right there. Getting some of the dark color in there. You can also use the one inch brush. It can be quite effective. Let's just do some highlighting right down here on these clouds, and then we'll just do some of the um, We'll do some of the uh, blending and, and softening and then we'll be done. But before I end, I thought maybe we do these. These clouds here can be really cumulonimbus or however you want to do it. Um, these are going to be closer clouds. And you can use the one inch here like that, just making little round soft and then push in if you need it. Soft strokes. Now I'm not going too hard into the paint, but I am putting it on the corner and just kind of working in a little bit like that, okay? Now you can also use the smaller filbert with the round edge if you want, like this one here, and work in some colors if you want, some, some of the background clouds, if you want to bring in some whites and some mist behind that one, for instance, that kind of blends in with the cloud behind it, okay? Um, you can get some effects that are effective, um, using it, this round edge so, like such and bringing in some highlights to these clouds here that are going to be quite pronounced because they're closer. All right. And you get a little bit more detail because it's smaller. All right. However you want to do it. But you have to make that cauliflower look to it almost, the cottony look. Leave some dark spaces. That's the key. Don't cover it all up. Leave some dark spaces in there, and then you can even use your finger if you want to even blend in. These little edges need to remain, but you can certainly create an illusion, just with little squiggling lines, not destroying all your dark value underneath, not overdoing it. Just knowing when it's right at that point where it says, hey, I need to leave that alone, okay? Because I like to keep some things dark and, and I want to keep some things light. How do you do that? Look at a lot of clouds and pa practice painting, okay? I look at clouds every day. Every time I'm driving somewhere, I'm looking at them. Every time I go on vacation, I'm like, in a, I'm in a new spot. These are some new clouds for me to focus on. Well, that's, that's I think, what artists are also observers of the world. And we like to put what we observed in the world into our paintings or in our art. Even if you're like an actor, different type of art. Even if you're an actor, you observe how people are and you incorporate that into your acting. It might be a real person you met even. Who knows? Okay? Who knows? It doesn't matter all the time it just depends what the play is or what the subject is that makes it matter ultimately in the end all right so what we'll do here now like i said in the final i don't even worry about 
cleaning those just yet. We'll do that later because I already have a clean brush right here. So what we're going to do then with the edge of this brush is use the corner and not kill all my highlights, but just start lightly. What did Bob Ross say? Two hairs and some air or something like that. Two hairs. Two hairs and some air. Awful impression. Just soften these corners with the while well, using the corner, soften these edges. Bring in these these highlights are there more than you see when the glare on there. I have a lot of glare from my um uh, ring light here and my other light behind me. <clears throat> so it's gonna somewhat limit what I can see, so I'm hoping the video picks it up. Um, but what you'll notice is some of the cloud shapes that you did, if you go too hard and you destroyed it. And then you're like, oh no! Well then you can go in with the brush later and add in a little bit more shape if you want. Filbert might work, whatever the case may be, um, for your particular paint. I like filberts, I like rounds, two inches, one inch brushes. With a canvas this size works really well. And then sometimes it's good to just do some cross strokes like this, just to kind of. Now this back here, I told you I was doing a little bit more like background clouds and the radiating light. You have to be careful back there because I could destroy that really easily with that effect I did there. It could be gone in seconds, but by just over overdoing it, uh, really. Um, but it depends where you want your, your your light to stand out, okay? So I'm not going to do too much there. But I am going to go back up here and just kind of work that through and then do a little bit more blending just here like such. Um, and it's a nebula. It's <laughs> it's going to have to feel more spacey later on as we add in effects. But right now it's like a cloud, and for painting any type of clouds, this might be the right video for you, but it really is part of a nebula scene that I'm doing, a nebula in space, space pirates, science fiction-y, so to speak, fun pop art, so to speak, genre stuff, fantasies, but this series is mythology and sci-fi so I got to be careful not to deviate with what I'm telling you I'm telling you what I'm in right now is a series of my paintings mythology and sci-fi this is going to mean some more shaping done here but you can see where I still know where I put my highlights in and I can develop those further with the filbert brush we killed a little bit of those highlights but then what I do is I go back over and I repair the work. So that's kind of what this is all about, is just basic cloud formation. Um, I love doing fun skies. I love doing beautiful skies. But in this case, it's not a sky. Unless, it, well, is it a sky? It's an atmosphere, it's a nebula. I don't know. Pirates in outer space, pirate spaceport floating here in the sky and the clouds and the nebula, <laughs> hiding out in the nebula because you can't find them on space radar or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a different piece. You're going to have to just keep watching my channel. Please like, subscribe, share, tell people about us, comment to what you want to see, comment if you have questions. I'd be happy to answer your questions. But if you, if you come back to my channel, you're going to see this painting develop with this really neat um, pirate ship or space piratey, piratey looking, like it's gonna, they're gonna look like pirate ships, but they're spaceships, okay? Uh, in a seaport, like a seaport, but in space, <laughs> okay? But it'll be spaceship pirate ship. <laughs> God, I am just brain farting like crazy right now, um, and probably rambling on way too much. Thank you for watching. It means a lot to me when you check out my channel. Please. Give me your input. Please give me your support. You're supporting an artist and you're supporting my YouTube channel. So to all of you, all my subscribers, to all that just are interactive in any way, whether it's a like, comment, or whatever, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. This is still FATV fan art, 
soon to be FAN TV, and I'm out. Y'all take care. Have a great week. A few moments later.